and for some goddamn reason, six kitchens. Well, who needs six kitchens? Reassuring himself, he just imagined the sensation. He went back to his work, only to experience what felt like someone pushing him against his back. Oh! Uh... Tragedy befell Sarah. Oh. Her... <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to We The Haunted, episode number 21. I am Trevor, Haunted Faith, and we also have... Lily, the one and the only. Hell yeah. And... Our episode is old enough to drink. <laughs> <laughs> we might... Should we do a uh, a drunk podcast eventually? Or at least like yeah. a... Or at least like a buzzed podcast eventually. I can do it. Let's do it. Like We're right now? It. Yeah, right now. No. <laughs> I, right now. No. I have no food on my stomach besides oh, a yeah. bar. I probably don't need to be doing that. Getting drunk on no <laughs> getting drunk on empty stomach it's not good, trust me. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For today's podcast, it is my turn. Or not today's this week, so we don't post this daily. I fucking wish we had time to. Anyway. Oh, if we had time to, that'd be fucking fantastic. <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> but oh well. This week it is my turn to take the lead, and it is her turn to guess on what I'm talking about. You Let's have see th- if my pea-sized brain can guess what you're doing today. <laughs> you have three guesses and two hints. Okay. The first hint, remember the, the first word, there's multiple types of what it is, but you have to guess, okay? The first okay. word that you get is magazine. <laughs> For audio only, for audio only people, her face was immaculate. <laughs> I make some pretty great faces. Uh, I got one of those faces. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, uh, magazine. Magazine. What the fuck? I told you my pea-sized brain ain't gonna get this. Um. <laughs> Let, let, let me know whenever you want your second hint. Mm, you might as well just give it to me now. Well, no, gonna... no, you at least take. Oh no, screw it. Um, it's fine because I'm not. I have no idea. Uh, all right, uh, this may be a giveaway hint. At least it is to me, considering I've done the read, the read, the read, the research on it for two days straight. Yeah. Staircase to nowhere. That's. Oh, are you doing the Winchester House? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Magazine, <laughs> a, <laughs> a, a gun magazine because of the rifle company. Oh, motherfucker! Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, oh, mother <laughs> shit. <laughs> I did not put that together. I told you I wouldn't. Nice, look at Rick. Yes, um, I get the recognition of getting that right for once. That's <laughs> what I get. Key, the the keyword there is for once. <laughs> for once. <laughs> Hi, you now see my hand. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, the Winchester Mystery House. Ooh. I I just had I I'm trying to find my okay. There we go. Um, brain lapse for a second. Uh, Winchester Mystery House. We start with the general history first, and then we, we will go to the timeline, then we will go to what it is known for, and then we will go to the haunted history. Woo-hoo. There is a lot of it. There um, is a lot. Um, the Winchester Mystery House is an architectural wonder and historical landmark in San Jose, Cal- 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 California, that was once the personal residence of Sarah... Lockwood Party, Winchester. Jesus, you, you were talking about <laughs> you were talking about making you your your name like four different words. Like, right. I, I, I fucking hated myself like halfway through Lockwood. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's the that's the perception of, and I believe that every person who has a hyphenated uh, name thinks this way. You do it to piss other people off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> the widow, she is the widow of William Wirt Winchester 
and the and the Harris or I her, the the Harris the Harris Harris to there a large <laughs> portion of the Winchester repeating arms fortune. Tragedy befell Sarah. Oh. Her, <laughs> that was that that sold it that sold it <laughs> podcast over they have they have came the audiences came here for what they wanted i was trying to scream <laughs> ghosts live in this house end of story that's what you came here for <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> okay i'm sorry <laughs> you were so enthusiastic. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Okay, Tragedy I'm done. befell <laughs> Sarah. Her, 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 her infant daughter died. Oh, that's not funny. <laughs> I just thought I'd catch you there. I just thought I'd catch you there. I'm not oh, laughing. <laughs> God damn it, now I'm laughing. Her infant died. <laughs> <don't... laughs> collect yourself, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, her infant daughter died of a childhood illness. Yes. And a few years later, her husband w- was taken from her by tuberculosis. Oh, great. Uh, which speaking of that will eventually do the Waverly Hills, but a- anyway. Oh, that's um, a whole other yeah. basket. Uh, shortly after her husband's death, Sarah left her home in New Haven, Connecticut, and moved out west to San Jose, California. Mm-hmm. There, she bought an eight-room farmhouse. It's already huge. Why make it bigger? I that's, mean, that, that, that's what she there's said. There's actually a lot of theories. Well, <laughs> that's Never what she mind. said. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and began what could be only be described as the world's longest home renovation. I think I meant to put largest, but longest works too. No, that can't be the lar- mean, that can't be the largest. It's probably the longest. Yeah, it's um, probably more of the longest than the largest. Yeah, I would. I would think. Yeah. Uh, stopping only when Sarah passed in September fifth of nineteen twenty two. From 1886 to 1922, construction seemingly never ceased at all, as the original eight-room farmhouse grew into the world's most unusual and sprawling mansion, featuring, these are the description of the house whenever it was done. You ready for, for, there's a lot of shit. Oh no, I know. (laughs) 24,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. 10,000 windows. Two thousand doors, one hundred and sixty rooms, fifty-two skylights, mm-hmm. forty-seven stairways and fireplaces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seventeen mm-hmm. chimneys. Thirteen bathrooms for each trip to to to, to Taco Bell. Right. <laughs> and for some goddamn reason, six kitchens. Well, who needs six kitchens? Everything else, I was like, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. The kitchens, but why do you need six kitchens? Maybe it's one kitchen for each. Go, I don't know. No, no, it's not gonna work. <laughs> six kitchens? I thought I. I don't know. I thought I would remember that. Maybe I've... that. Maybe that. Hmm. Oh, and by the way, I I I I usually say this like at the end, but. If you're curious about all the specs, I got my my sources from WinchesterHouse.com and uh and MercuryNews.com. The Mercury News is um just the local news pa- the paper of the San Jose area. Ooh, um, that makes it even better. Um. <laughs> anyway, yes. Um. Uh. The house was built at the price tag of five million dollars. In 1923, but that equaling now would have been seventy-one million dollars today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? And I know the reason. I will tell you why. Even then, I know why. It's just like why. Uh. Um, but what remained was indeed 
a mystery. Excuse me. Just, just r- 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 real quick. <gasps> he did it. He broke off. I I kind of <laughs> sneezed. I did as quietly oh. as possible. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, the sorry. Just, sorry. Wait, uh, but what <laughs> remained is indeed a mystery. Even before her passing, rumors of a mystery house being built by an eccentric and wealthy woman swirled across everyone's mind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 the way you did that, you're, you like had the fingers up here like, across everyone's mind. Across. across. Let's get deep across. with it. I, I let's, get deep, let's get deep with it. That's what she said. <laughs> That's not funny. I got you that time. I got funny. you. I got you. I got you. This I got a, you. And you don't want to prove it. The, this is a child rated show. That was no, not it's necessary. Not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Don't even try. Don't even try. <laughs> was she instructed to write build this home by a psychic? Was she instructed to build this home by a psychic? Was she haunted by the ghosts of those felled by the gun that took the West? End quote. Did construction truly never stop? What motivated a well-educated socialite to cut herself off from the rest of the world and focus on solely building the world's most beautiful but yet bizarre mansion? Sarah, Oops. ow, my fucking <laughs> back just pops. Damn! <laughs> fucking, fucking, jar, j, 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 I'm getting old, guys. I'm 25. Um, <laughs> I'm older than you are. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're right. You are. <laughs> you were like, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> you're 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 27, right? 26. I might as well be. Well, like you, you're you're 50. You, you're only one year older than me. Uh, <laughs> I turned 27 this year. I I I just turned 26. The, yeah, the, so I'm a year older. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Anyway. But <laughs> anyways, back um, for the day. Uh, Sarah Winchester, what, what, what was a woman of independence, drive, and courage who lives on a, on in, in legend, and the mansion she built is a world renowned as much for the many design curiosities and innovations. If you hear something in the background, guys, I'm sorry. It's the maintenance guy in my my complex is doing some shit. He's uh, going. Uh, I think he's Wait, like. Fuck everybody up. <laughs> I, 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 I think he's weed eating the lawn or some shit. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm sorry if you hear that. Um, um, uh, many ahead of the time. As for the reported paranormal activity that resides within these walls, so the house is not only renowned on legend, the curiosities and innovations, but it's also renowned based on the paranormal occurrences that happen there. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, these mysteries and more are what has drawn over 12 million guests to visit the Winchester mi- 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 Mystery House since the doors opened in June, June 3rd, 3rd, 30th, 1923. 12 million guests. 12 million. 12 million. That's a lot of guests. A lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Yes. Uh, I don't now... know, maybe it's not enough. <laughs> True. Let's double that. Maybe it's not enough. Maybe that's rookie about. numbers. That's that's rookie numbers. Get, get to get to like fifty billion. Yeah. And then, then then we can talk. Then we can talk. <laughs> like, like 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 once you I I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, um, the timeline. Eighteen thirty seven. Okay. William Ward Winchester was born in Baltimore, Maryland, the only son of Oliver Winchester. Mm-hmm. Eighteen thirty nine. Sarah Lockwood Party when Winchester is born in New Haven, Connecticut, 1862. Cool. Sarah marries Mr. Winchester, uh, heir to the Winchester Repeating Arms Company, 1866. Their only child, Annie Party Winchester, was born on July 12th of 1866. Tragically, the child dies a mere five and a half weeks after her birth. That's so sad. From Ma- Marasmus. And what is it, you may ask? I looked into it. Didn't. I didn't. But yes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I d- and, I, and I also don't give a fuck. Please continue. Okay. <laughs> Mo- 
Morasmus is a type of protein energy malnutrition that can mainly affect anyone but mainly skin and children. Mm, that sucks. It's like it's like she didn't have a chance. Yeah. That sucks. That's so well, sad. I wonder what caused that, if anything. You know, I don't know. I really don't. It's probably just like a birth thing. Fair enough. Probably. So it sounds like anyways. That's so sad. Anyways. 1873. 1873, the Winchester Rifle Model 73, known as the gun that won the West, is released. 1880, boom, boom, pal. <laughs> Them chicks are something my style. They like to copy my... Uh, yeah, that's Black Eyed Peas. Anyway. You tried. <laughs> I, I like to copy my swagger. <laughs> <laughs> you need um, to work on that. <laughs> There's only one song that I can half-ass sing, and it's Tiptoe Through the Tulips. It's um, okay. <laughs> Tiptoe. What? Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. 1880. Oliver Winchester dies, leaving the succession of the Winchester Repeating Arms Company to his only surviving son, mm -hmm. who is already seriously ill with the disease that will shortly take his life. Sucks, sucks to suck. I'm kidding. <laughs> sucks to suck. No! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm it's kidding. not his fault. <laughs> it sucks. It obviously sucks, but I'm just it messing. Sucks. It just um, sucks. 1881. Only three months after Oliver's death, his dad's death, his son William died of tu tuberculosis at, at the age of 43. Mm -hmm. Sarah inherits the fortune, reportedly worth $20 million plus nearly 50% of the Winchester Repeating Arms stock. Is that in like they is that like today's money? No, or is, that, okay, no. that's back then. Okay. Yeah. Shit. If that was <laughs> if, if, uh, all right, just a idea. Going back up here, um a price tag of, of going off the house's price, a price tag of five million would be seventy one million today. So that was so add like uh add like sixty six million to it. Right. Let's add 70 to be generous. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, his son died, uh, inherits the fortune repeatedly worth 20 million. It would be worth 90 million dollars. Could you imagine getting inherited 90 million dollars? <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I would, I would, in a year? <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, would, I would buy a house in Scotland, then buy a car and a bike. I then donate the rest to like suicide prevention and some pet charity. Wow, that's really nice. And then also like a uh, Black Lives Matter. I, I would have so much money. I, I, I would just be like, every fundable charity on the earth. Here's a million. Here's a a million, million, million to you, million to you. I'm drinking some uh, some Arnold Palmer. Some what? Arnold Palmer. Do you not know what that is? What is that? Wait, why is it? What? Wait, Ar wait, what? Ar Arnold Palmer. It's Are you thinking a man? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's half iced sweet tea, half lemonade. Oh, well, that's why, because I can't drink that. Why? If we went to get medical, I will get a UTI if I drink anything mixed like that. Oh, didn't know that was a thing. Yep, it's a thing. <laughs> The more you know. Do, 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 do. Well, from you to, from UTS to the death of people, let's go back to the podcast. <laughs> um, uh, okay, eight, 1885. Sarah Winchester arrives in California. That was it. Um, okay. <laughs> I literally so wrote down, I, I wrote down all of the fucking things. That's it. That's it. Boom. In 1886, Sarah purchases a two-story from 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 farmhouse near San Jose, that will soon grow into her beloved. I can't say my old guys, so just give it's me okay. a second. It's okay. L Lala Nada Villa. Lala Nada Villa. Yeah. Okay. Later known as the Winchester Mystery House. Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. No. <laughs> no, you, no, you don't have to do this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> 
No. Anyway. No. <laughs> um, uh, 1888. Miriam Daisy, in quotes, mm-hmm. Merriman, Sarah's favorite niece. It said favorite, like she has multiple, but she's the favorite. Um, moves to the La Laneda Villa. The first fu- fucking try, I'm built different. Uh, La Laneda Villa and lives with her Aunt Sarah for the next 15 years. 1890 to 1900s. Mm-hmm. The heyday of the mansion's construction. When it rises from a small farmhouse to a seven-story Victorian giant. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a lot. In, the ni- in 1903, Daisy Merriman marries Frederick Marriott Jr. and leaves the villa. Why did I, why did I add that? I don't 19- know. Why did you? <laughs> 1906, Great San Francisco earthquake damages the mansion. Yeah. Imagine, imagine all, the energy, the, all the energy that gets sent into that. Yeah. The seven-story tower and most of the fourth floor are later demolished. 1910, Sarah purchases a second home in Atherton, where she can be closer to her sisters and shit. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> 1922, I literally just, like, highlight, copy, paste, highlight, copy, paste, highlight, copy, paste. Like, well, when it's a timeline, it's harder to kind of, like, um, put it in your own words, especially when it is exactly. a So, yeah. it's fine. I Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Um, 1922. Sep- September 5th, 1922. Sarah Winchester passes away at the villa. 36 years of construction ceases at the news of her death. And 1922, the, the last one. Well, not the last one, but the last one of like the general timeline before mm-hmm. it comes to the mystery house. La Laneda v- v- Villa is sold. Daisy Marriott, Sar- Sarah's niece, inherits $3,000 from her aunt. But that's not it. The contents of personal p- p- possessions from both Sarah's homes. And imagine this. Okay. The Somebody. income from a $200,000 trust fund for the remainder of her life. 200000 which now would be close to, I would assume like, eight eight hundred thousand. So like, imagine getting, earning the income from an eight hundred thousand dollar tr- trust fund nowadays, for the remainder of your of your life. I mean, okay, if we were to put that in today's perspective, that's honestly not a lot of money, but eight hundred thousand dollars. It just depends on your lifestyle. And it depends on like your debt and all that stuff. But Fair I enough. would like that. Yeah. <laughs> I would like that <clears throat> for the rest of my life because at least that way you're getting some kind of money coming in. True. That'd be pretty nice. Pretty nice, bro. All right, here we go. This is the part of the timeline where it's dubbed in quotes the mystery house. Ooh, ooh. 1922, December 15th. The auction sale of La Laneda and its surrounding acreage is finalized. This property is further divided and sold. April 1923. John and Mame, or Mamie, one of the two, Brown, lease the villa and its remaining grounds and move their family onto the estate. Okay. Uh, They plan to create a park featuring... Backity Back Railway, one of the earliest known. W- is that loud behind me? It's pretty loud. God damn it! I'm sorry, sorry. guys. If, 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 if you can hear, I don't know what the fuck it is. But they're they're just going at it. That's all you need to know. They're, <laughs> I don't know what the. It sounds like a, like a wind blower or something or a saw. It I might be. It really might. I don't know. Oh, oh never mind. It's back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's not going away anytime soon. I'm really sorry, I'm guys. Sorry. Um, uh, was it? Well, they were going to create a park featuring Backity Back R- Railway, one of the earliest known wooden ro- roller coasters, designed and initially built by John at the amusement park in Canada. Due to local restrictions and overwhelming public interest in in, in the house, they shift their focus to opening the house to the public, and the roller coaster was never built. Well, okay. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. 
Okay, it went away. Hopefully, it's hate away. It probably won't. I'll probably just jinx that shit, to be honest. Comes back. They yeah. just even louder. <laughs> they, 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 they pointed at the base of my doorway. Just like, They're like guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> 1923. The mansion is open for public tours. May I'm supposed to say Mame instead of Mamie. Mame yeah, Brown. Yeah, sounds better. Mame Brown is the first tour guide. Sarah Winchester's oldest gardens become Winchester Park, where families can come and have a picnic and enjoy themselves. Oh, well, how nice. How quaint. How quaint. How, how quaint. It's good, it's, it's good soup. Soup. <laughs> soup. <laughs> 1924. <laughs> famed magician Harry Houdini visits the mansion on halloween night seeking to debunk Ooh. the paranormal stories we i one of us needs to do stuff about harry houdini mm -hmm. because he's actually a skeptic i don't know if you read that in your research oh, oh yeah he yeah. is a huge skeptic of like the paranormal and there's like really? all kind oh there is so much shit it is great okay one of us will have to do it sometime okay that in like one of the most like profound uh why is his name blanking on me it's okay I, we'll talk about it later go ahead okay okay um harry houdini visits the, the mansion on halloween night seeking to debunk the paranormal stories he leaves with more questions than answers mm -hmm. and famously referred it to as the mystery house 1930s house is officially marketed as the winchester mystery house Postcard. I don't know why that was written. Anyway, uh, 1940s. The original water tank on top of the tank house burns, damages the tank house as well. Ooh. Well, yeah. still damage. I mean, damage is damage and damage yeah. is energy. And that, I mean, I mean, especially if it's fire. It's pretty. Yeah. It's fire. <laughs> fire. Oh. Fire. I went fire. down to the burning ring of fire. And I went I down, 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 and the, and the flames, flames went, went higher. higher, and it burned, 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 burned. the ring of fire. <laughs> the ring of fire. <laughs> you tell her accents there, it's not fire, it's fur. Fur. <laughs> well, go listen to the song. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says. Go ahead. <laughs> 1945 john h brown the villa's owner died in june 1945 his wife and two daughters continued to run daily tours and operations of the house in 1951 six years later mamie brown wife of john dies december 1951. okay 1960s in honor of Sarah Win Winchester and her home, Santa Clara Los Gatos Road, which I assume is the road it's on, I mm -hmm. I couldn't find if it is or not. I mean, I, I I could look it up, but like at the time, I'm sure it got changed again. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Santa Clara Santa Clara Los Gatos Road is renamed Winchester Boulevard. Ooh, nice. Winchester Park in quotes closes. And Century Theaters were built. Winchester Wax Museum then opens too. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's yeah. It cl it closes down. I uh, no, it was just the fact that I completely forgot. <laughs> oh, I was I like, thought, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you were like, let me go to that, but no. Nah, no, okay. no, it it was uh, something that I completely forgot about, and then you said the words, and I was like, oh yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, and by the way, there's going to be a creepy paranormal encounter that got, that got reported by a maintenance man that's going to maybe put chills into your spine. Ooh. I just, like, thought about that. Um, uh, that blow dryer wind thingy. What the fuck is that? Going? The blow dryer wind thingy. Yes, that's what you can buy at your local hardware store. Um, <laughs> it shut the fuck up. Anyway. on Yay! <laughs> On to the net. I thought I could catch it off guard. Okay. Okay. Um, I didn't catch it lagging. Uh, where the fuck was I? Oh, here we go. 1963. Winchester Mystery House is incorporated. Its mission is to continue to, to preserve Sarah Winchester's home and gardens, making them accessible to future generations. Mm -hmm. 1970. 
Restoration of the mansion in Victorian, Gar 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 Victorian Gardens begins, and several rooms are furnished. A new gift shop is open, and guided garden tours begin. I would love to do that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I I love when haunted places offer tours that aren't haunted. You can just see yeah. the you can just see the scenery of one, of what once was. Now, yeah, I I think it gives it more appreciation to yeah. the like hey the we environment have... to the history exactly exactly yeah. Like, obviously, if you, like, do, like, a scenery tour at, like, Waverly Hills, no one's gonna give it. Outside's a fucking deadbeat, like, bushes and shit. Like, no one cares. But, like... Well, honestly, I still think it's important to... It, it, it won't be as pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it, important I to I think it's in it, different sure. terms. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love, like the 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 surreal majesticness of like pretty gardens and shit i like decrepit shit same <laughs> so, i like I, 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 I taking like the... a tour at like like you just said for the example waverly hills um yeah. to me i would love to take like a daytime tour not for a haunted aspect but for a history aspect and to imagine I just like yeah. to sit there and think about, oh, what did this part used to look yeah. like? Ooh, and like piece it all together. I like that a lot, but I See, th I can appreciate a good garden. <laughs> I can. I I love going and exploring like abandoned places, and even going to like um national parks and just being like, what could have happened here, and what could have happened, yeah. in, what could have happened in this cave twenty million years ago or something. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah was this cave here 20 million years ago <laughs> probably not you, you never know <laughs> um ba -da -ba -ba -ba. here we go okay 1974 go. winchester house is granted oh granted oh okay i <laughs> It's granted. <laughs> I, I in my head I read the word twice and I was like I, I didn't type that twice but I didn't my brain just lapsed again. It's okay. 1974 Winchester Mystery House is granted state historic landmark status. In the 1980s, first flash out tours are given and the wax museum closes to make way for a new cafe and a conference room for some goddamn reason. Um, a new cafe would be cool, but what do you need a conference room in a fucking anyway? Um, probably because there's a lot of houses that do that for people who really? just need to have a meeting like it like people will do it at hotels and stuff as well i guess if it's That's a business why, like, ho yeah. yeah like sometimes people just need a spot to meet um mostly mostly hotels have like conference rooms and stuff um but i could see that being a thing Especially okay. if it has like other things inside of it, like a cafe and stuff. I could, True. I can see that. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Pea brain. <laughs> <laughs> My pea no, brain not wrong. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, 1983, the old in quote well house is moved 100 feet to the west, and a spacious new central courtyard is created. All this shit they're moving, adding, de de deleting. Imagine how the spirits feel about that shit. Oh my gosh. Well, okay, I guess it depends on the spirit, but most of the time they're not too fond of it. Mm, no. <laughs> most of the time they're not. <laughs> um, and this is another thing I would love to do. In quotes, right. behind the scenes tour is created, taking guests through the old stables and into the oldest basement. Ooh, that yeah, would be so much fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All Sorry. Right. In 1996, the mansion okay. is named a San Jose City landmark. In Ooh. 2004, a classical statue of the goddess Hebe, or Hebe, one of a pair that flanked the mansion's entrance, is Sarah Winchester's time, is repaired and returned to its proper place in the gardens after 60 years of absence. Ooh, cool. 2016 the parlor oh. hallway is restored that was a long period of time change but yeah, yeah the parlor yeah. hallway is restored using 130 year old wallpaper from sarah's stockpile oh uh, yeah damn uh, that had to be such a hard job to do yeah oh i don't envy them 2017 <laughs> oh. qu qu quote unquote sarah's attic shooting gallery is created in the central courtyard 
South 20, South Twin di Dining Room is restored using also 130 year old wallpaper from her stark pile, as well as new pieces made from molds for old patterns. Mm -hmm. The quote unquote Explore More Tour debuts in May. Dozens of rooms never before seen by the public are opened. Oh. Guests are allowed to enter through the front doors of the mansion for the first time. And the filming begins on the Winchester movie. Ooh. Uh, which I, I've gotten like halfway through it. I didn't watch all the way. It was it, great. I just, I, I, I just got drunk. Um, I, I heard mixed reviews about it. But, fair, you know, fair whatever. Enough. 2018. Winchester, the feature, the feature film is released. And in 2019, the Winchester Mystery House begins unhinged. The all new immersive theatrical horror experience. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds fun. The one of the main reasons why I wrote down the timeline is just to show how many fucking times it got renovated and moved and added well, on to. It's important. Yeah, yeah, well it, just like it's important for the context. Yeah. Just like knowing that a haunted place got renovated and moved and rebuilt and reconstructed and burned down so many times, mm -hmm. it just adds fuel to the fire. Yeah, yeah, it um, it makes sense, especially to why she built the yeah. house. So yeah, yeah, I I mean yeah, it's it's understandable. Yeah, a haunted history. A haunted history. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, so yeah. Um, legend has it that when her daughter and her well, yeah, well, legend has it that when her husband and her infant daughter died, Winchester Rifles heiress Sarah Winchester visited a spiritual medium. Mm -hmm. The sidekick told the wealthy socialite, Sarah, that the premature deaths were payback by angry spirits who'd been killed by the Winchester Rifles. And now it's time for Sarah to build a house large enough to accommodate all of them. <laughs> appropriate response appropriate response <laughs> a mat okay it's... a medium walking into a place and just telling you oh man sitting there two girls are standing there and our dead bodies there that's like uh, creepy but you know expected you know cool i will use that information for my investigation another thing is whenever a, a medium says Hey, uh, you know, um, your daughter and your husband that died pre pre fucking maturely. Yeah. <laughs> you know why? You want to know why? <laughs> the spirits want a bigger house. <laughs> Fuck you. They're they're basically taking revenge, and yeah. um, you got to contain oh, them. Oh shit, that's so wrong way. <laughs> Not... You just. Uh, uh. I'm, doing, I'm doing the rest of the podcast like this. Just like up close. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> God, it's the thumbnail. It's completely different from everybody else. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> it kind of like looks like it would be a painting, a part of a painting. But here, here. No, it there, no, no, it don't work now. I'm trying. I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm trying to pose them look cool. This is not working. There you go. That's working. <laughs> right there. Just like. Eh. There you go. There you go. Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the spirits of Winchester rifles and revenge. Just, just revenge. That's not revenge. That's somber. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> Zooming back out. That's. Why, I, I, I can go further? What the fuck? Hello? Anyway. We're all discovering <laughs> in the middle of an episode <laughs> what you can do. Hi there. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyways. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, the Waverly Hills. Um. Uh, <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Um. Uh. Spirits kill people. Get bigger house. Gotcha. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sarah had the house constructed. 
to allegedly appease the spirits, specifically for those who had fallen in the famous Winchester rifle. Both visitors and employees claim ghostly sightings. A number of employees and a few visitors claim to have crossed paths with a spirit known as Clyde. Clyde. Such a scary name. <laughs> Clyde. Damn. <laughs> Clyde. Just listen to the the, the description of him. He, he's, he's, he's kind of, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of a dime. A mustached man that sometimes is seen pushing a wheelbarrow in the basement. Why? Fuck if I know. Because um, he can. Or, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> or trying to repair the fireplace in the bathroom. He has he been can. just... <laughs> Dude, that laugh. You're trying your hardest. I'm trying my hardest not to like shriek because that's my laugh is so loud i'm really trying not to so whenever she forces her laugh she sounds like a, a lawnmower that won't start gotcha <laughs> i'm trying okay i'm sorry no it's fine I didn't... <laughs> he has been described roughly to management like this okay in quote we really like the actor who was quote unquote repairing the ballroom fi fireplace oh. wearing white overalls and a Victorian boater hat. End quote. Huh? We didn't hire an actor. What okay, plot twist. <laughs> what if they really did? <laughs> and they're like, we're gonna play this as a ghost. Win Winchester we House lost all credibility. <laughs> you gotta keep it secret forever. <laughs> I, I mean, technically, technically, that's a shitty move, but it's one way to do it. I've heard business. shittier. Come on. I've heard shittier. I would ask what, but I'm not going to start that conversation. Like, no, go ahead. <laughs> nope. You're no. done. I'm okay. done. No, I'm done. You're good. Okay. <laughs> um, quote unquote, Clyde is a popular resident at the Winchester estate. He likes it there. He likes it there very much so. <laughs> There are also gentle tugs of skirts or shirts during the tours, and a report from a longtime maintenance worker named Denny says, "This is gonna shock your feathers or whatever the fuck, fuck that means." My feathers are I don't, ready. I don't, I don't, prepare feathers. for your prepare for your feathers to be shocketh. Okay. <laughs> this is a report by a guy named Denny. Denny. One crisp morning, this is word for word, one crisp morning, after entering the water tower, he heard the patter of footsteps above. Oh. He ascended to let the trespasser know the three-story structure was off limits. Oh. But the footsteps always seemed to be one step ahead of him, mm -hmm. as in one floor above. Oh. His search culminated until he got to the top of the building on the roof. With no one in sight. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he walks to the edge of the roof and looks down. That's what I heard. It's <laughs> Shit, damn it. I knew it. Goes back downstairs. Mm. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> that sucks. The person just jumped off a roof. Fuck. My or brothers were oh. shocked. You're shocked. You, shocked. They were shocked. They went, they went bzz, my feathers completely. I get it. That'd be pretty spooky in the moment. Yeah. They really would. They get it's a real person and it's yeah. not. That's Imagine not hearing footsteps as you're following them, or just like it's, it's like an endless void. You're like this motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> and then you find out it was nobody, and you're like, ah, shit. <laughs> you got shit. I got nice. gypped again. Gypped, yeah. Yep. Why are we using such old terms on? Fuck it. Like, um, you get. That's who I am. <laughs> says a girl who's wearing a high school shirt. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't know the name of that again. Uh, it's not an anime podcast. Fuck it. Um, it's some weeb shit. I d leave me alone. <laughs> don't bully me. <laughs> I'm sensitive. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> you know I love you. I love you too. As I pat my microphone. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Just thanks. As recently as this April. 
aka 2019. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's this is from a while ago. An architectural historian met with our house historian Janan Bohm. B O E H M E. Bohm. Bo okay. Yeah. Uh, to present his findings on who had most likely created the amazing, beautiful stained glass windows in the mansion. Bohm was convinced that at least one of the mysteries of the house had finally been solved, but there is no hard evidence. End quote. Then the strangest thing happened, recounts Bohm. The very next day, a restorer recovered a uncovered and a perfectly preserved envelope that had been hidden inside the wall for 125 years. Oh, shit. Address to Mrs. S. L. Winchester. Oh, damn. It bore the elaborate logo of the Pacific American Decorative Company. Oh. The very company the researcher had concluded was the maker of Sarah's Windows. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, 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 imagine finding out your answer in literally from Sarah Winchester, or a Sarah, a, a note to her. Yeah. Like, it's not just, oh, we looked at the record, and yeah, that's what it is. It just kind of was like, here. here yeah. Like, it just, like, that's pretty, that's cool. So, that's one cool. thing I've learned is if you want answers to the past, tear down your home. Search the wall. Yeah, I can do that right now. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I, we, we, I both, do that. Uh, we both live in apartments. You can't do that. Uh, I mean, I can, but I might get in trouble. I would, I, I would make a joke, but I'm not going to. This is the Don't internet. Don't do it. <laughs> um, all right. Um... A former marketing director employed by the house captured the blow photo. It's off. If I remember, I don't know if I'll put the put the, put the picture on the screen because I don't have a spot for it on screen. It's right too hard. Right here, right here, on my face. <laughs> I, 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 who, who Do it! I be... dare you. <laughs> oh, she's making me edit more. <laughs> um. Uh, captured the below photo in 2015 and caught what appears to be a human shaped white apparition looking out onto the front gardens. Some say, Is it a reflection of the clouds or is it a spirit? But it it doesn't look like a fucking cloud. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll, I, feel like I, know that. I feel like I know that photo. I'll show you afterwards. I'll show you okay. afterwards. Okay. Um, because what what makes me weary about it is whenever you see the reflection of clouds in the sky, mm -hmm. you see a blue reflection as well as long as a white one. From what I can see, there is no blue section. It's just pure white. Just pure white. So to me, that says spirit. It's rare. Well. It just depends. I, of course, I don't know what the photo looks like, and I'm not going to look it up right now. But um, I guess it just depends on the time of day and the time of weather and all that yeah. other stuff. I, I mean, I'll see it in a little bit, but I'll, yeah, I'll just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay, but yeah. <laughs> I just smacked my mic so goddamn hard. Bam, bam, bitch. Pop it as microphone. I got a pop filter on it. I can't. Can't do it. I got a pop. I got a pop filter on it. I can't pop it. Don't pop it. Pop it, lock it, and drop it. No. I don't know what that's from. Not honestly. 2010. <laughs> that's what that was from. Okay. Anyway. Um, several years ago, a man. Okay. Oh, this is another like chilling experience. Like, okay, imagine I'm like ready. the 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 reply. Like, you getting confirmation that something is theirs. I'm ready. Several years ago, X amount of years ago, a man was working on one of the many restoration projects in the mansion. Started his day. I did not add a comma there. Um, <laughs> a man was working on one of the many restoration projects in the mansion. He started his day early in a section with several fireplaces, known as the Hall of Fires. Ooh, uh... That'd be cool, like a band name, but that's beside the point. 
the house was dead quiet before the tours got underway. And he was working up on a ladder when he fe- Okay. He was working up on a ladder. Okay. Mm-hmm. No one standing on the ground would be able to touch him unless it was like on his feet, spanking his feet. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe not even that. The house is big. He may be on like a 20 foot ladder. Who fucking knows? Anyway. I, I get it. I, I'm on 20 foot ladders all the time. I really am. <laughs> I, I was really like, am. I was like, bro, what? <laughs> but no, you, yeah, you work, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How tall are your aisles? They're really tall. They're really tall. <laughs> twenty foot, dude. If you're, if you have to use if, a twenty, maybe more like fifteen, maybe. More if, like you have, 15. if you have to use a fifteen foot ladder to get to the top of your shelf, no one's gonna be able to shop off that top shelf. No, this is in the back room. Oh, okay. There you go. You put it together. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm expected to, to know the layout of Target. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been to Target twice in my life. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, literally, I've been to Target twi- twi- oh. twice in my life, and it was down south. Most most uh, uh big box store stores are uh like like that where their back rooms um their shelving the way they store stuff is like really fucking tall and like mm. high and it's like the entire wall is, yeah it's pretty oh, normal. Speaking of the speaking of b- back rooms, same title but different thing. Okay. Long long story short, I'm not gonna rant about it, but there is a creator on YouTube named Kane Pixels. And he is making a series about a found footage a- animation that he made called The Back Rooms. Mm-hmm. Found footage. Mm-hmm. Check it out. The, the original found footage film plus all like the extra things he's doing with the footage. It's yeah. fucking creepy. Ooh, uh, you, do you know about The Back Rooms? Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure I don't know every single aspect of it, but I know the, the general sense. Yeah. Really, yeah. I mean, that's all you really can. <laughs> True. True. Really, True. Okay. Um, okay. So he started his day off early wo- 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 working on some fireplaces in the Hall of Fires. The house was dead quiet before the tour was getting away. He was working up on a ladder when he, he was he was working up on a ladder when he felt someone tap him on the back, his back. Oh my god. He turned around to ask the person what they wanted. No one was there. So uh, on a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> on a freaking ladder. You're just like, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah. With nothing under you. Sup, dude. Sup, dude. You want lunch later? Subway? Gotcha. You're on the same level. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ew, that's kind of creepy. I say Subway. I don't even like Subway's all right. Anyway. Um, bread sandwiches. <laughs> bread. Bre- <laughs> that reminds me of TikTok. Bread. 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 Uh, <laughs> reassuring himself. He just imagined the sensation, because sometimes it happens, you know. Yeah, yeah. It a, a a cold wind can hit you, slap you in the back. You know, sometimes your shirt can pop if if it's a thick shirt. Yeah. Reassuring himself, he just imagined the sensation. He went back to his work, only to experience what felt like someone pushing him against his back. Oh. Uh... He quickly hopped on the ladder and went to the other, the other side of the property to work on something else. Re- just telling himself, I'm not meant to work there at the moment. You, that's a great way to look at that. that <laughs> it, I'm being a hundred percent honest with that. Like, not not joking. Um, if somebody was like, "Hey, get the fuck out of here," I'd be like, "Oh, okay, okay. okay. I'm I'm leaving. This is not my place. It's not my home. I'm I don't just know. working here. I will go. I will go somewhere else for a little while. I, I don't just, know." That's- I don't know why I I, I I I imagine this, but imagine him on a ladder, turn around and be like, "Fuck, fuck, bro," and doesn't fuck, fall. Bro. It doesn't fall. He's just like casually just balancing like, himself on a ladder, and like turns around, no hand on the ladder, just like, just and, and then turns back around and continues to work. That the, would be hilarious. Actually. The balance would be phenomenal, but no, no you immaculate, can't do it. Okay. immaculate. I was trying to. That's amazing. Wait, that's okay. A, so I turn it. I, I, I turn it right to zoom in. Gotcha. Left You're to zoom learning. in. You're <laughs> learning. I've had this camera for how many years now? And I, yeah. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> Since 2015. Anyway. Oh, uh, okay. There um, you go. No. 
Oh, but, 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 but was it college 2017? Anyway, okay, there you go. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so, so, I can't guess for you. I mean, technically you can, but it, it, it might be right. No, probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah, P brain, gotcha. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this is the last topic I, I want to talk about. But I want to, I have some theories, or a theory, oh, at least, okay. on it. Okay, I'm ready. This is a relatively long piece. Okay. A tour guide named Samantha recently, in quotes, not recently, mm -hmm. led visitors to the Daisy bedroom. Excuse me. Where Sarah Winchester was trapped during the 1906 earthquake. Mm-hmm. Samantha was about to begin her spiel or her explanation of the room when a very clear sigh came from the small hallway outside the bedroom door. Thinking one of her guests had merely fallen be 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 behind, mm -hmm. Sarah turned around to call the person into the room but saw no one. Then, as her eyes adjusted to the darkened hallway, she did see something. The form of a small, dark person slowly emerged, gl gliding itself around a corner. Samantha quickly stepped around the corner and, again, saw nothing but, saw, saw, saw nothing, comma, but heard yet another deeper sigh. She felt sure it was just the tiny form of Sarah Winchester herself, perhaps peeved to find people in her favorite bedroom. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. To me, when she, and when she died, I think I remember seeing that she was pretty, I mean, short, petite, right? I, I, don't know. I have not seen a full picture of her. I, I, From I, what I, I remember, she's kind of like maybe a little like five three five four maybe oh okay oh that's smaller than so that's my, like that's smaller than my girlfriend jesus it's like pretty petite so i would imagine it would have been her i mean she's just like why the fuck are y'all in here <laughs> yeah Get see the fuck out. <laughs> see i have a a a a, a theory okay in a general sense, I'm not saying every time because the paranormal is unknown. I, I can't speak for yeah. it every time. But usually, darkened, shadowy figures usually mean demonic, evil, or angry. Because it is known that sometimes the emotions and the, the type of energy can affect the color of the manifestations that we see depending on what type of energy it is. You good? Sorry, I got a really weird with oh maybe it's nothing i think it's the air oh and here's steven okay i think it's just the air the okay air on and I think just, it's just, I just you 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 went i uh, i was like did she just witness some shit <laughs> it's because i it's like a crisp smell crisp it's the <laughs> best way i can explain it hi steven it's a very Aww. i know a sweet baby he's uh he's sad why is he sad? Because Austin's not here. Oh. He's sad when one of us is gone. I thought it was because like something like medical shit was wrong or something. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No. He just Good. gets really sad when one of us is gone. Then if that's the case, I'm fine with making this joke. S -s suck it up, bitch. Wait. <laughs> it, 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 is, it, is it? Wait, Steven's a, a, a boy. I can't say bitch. Fuck. Girl, I dog, call bitch. guys bitches all the time. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. It, is, is, is a girl dog a bitch a scientific thing or is that just like a stereotype? It's, I think it's a science a science thing. Science thing, okay. But also, I'm pea brain, so I don't know. <laughs> Fair I enough. make the joke to myself, so it's fine. <laughs> um, but um, to actually, are you done with your theory? No. Okay, go ahead. Keep um, going. I'll, I'll I'll save my thoughts later. In, in a general sense, sometimes the the color of a ghostly manifestation can appear to our eyes as blackened or shadowy if they are angry, demonic, evil, etc. And so 
what if what she heard isn't a well she heard a sigh that's what she heard to herself in her head that sounds like a sigh to to her but what if it was actually a soldier that was still grieving over like a gunshot wound Ooh. so like what if it wasn't like a huh, it was a ah type thing could have been and I, I know it's that I saw I know it's not like a groundbreaking fucking theory, but yeah. uh, but like what if it yeah like what if it's not like a sigh it's a grunt. Could be, could have been. Like and he's trying to escape or just walk away and have some time to himself or some shit. I don't know. Maybe uh... because it did say it got deeper because not a lot of people will go. <sighs> I do, but <laughs> well, we we attention. have issues, okay? <laughs> I'm just like, fucking pay attention to me, fucking pay attention to me, <laughs> Austin. <laughs> or Austin. <laughs> I like that guttural scream there. Uh, uh, I, can, I can, I can scream. I can like, do it. Like vocally scream. Yeah. Do it. Not on air. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to do the breakdown of Lorna Shores to the Hellfire right now. Yeah. That's so high pitch, it's not being called by your mic. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it under pressure. <laughs> under pressure. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Mo a lot of people randomly won't sigh, sigh louder just out of randomness. So. They usually have intentions. Yeah. Uh, so what if a soldier is like, you know, a pain, like some shocking pain, pain escalates yeah. and decreases and shit. Like, what if he's just walking around like, Ugh, and then shock of pain, Ugh, you know? Yeah. That, that's be, my. Yeah. Residual. Yeah. Like a residual thing. Exactly. Yeah. Unless someone that's just a... got shot mm -hmm. and the bullet went through the said person and went into the spirit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oops. That's. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, you ever just shoot a gun and say whoops? <laughs> shoot a gun intentionally at someone. I can't say that because that has happened, but anyways, not to myself. On to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next. Um, can I? Yeah, go um, ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, this is coming from somebody who this is coming from a different perspective is what i'll say okay sometimes from my experience um if you are somebody who doesn't have as strong of abilities or can't or isn't connected to your abilities as some sometimes spirits just appear as a shadow Okay, so like for someone random who's just there for their job as a tour guide that isn't like connected with their third eye. Yes. Seeing a ghost is just like you don't, your body doesn't have the ability to see features. It's just here's mm -hmm. what is here from your perspective. Yes. But okay. it's still hard to determine because, and sometimes I have this trouble. Um, if you see something and it's a shadow, you don't know whether if it's actually a spirit, if it's residual, if it's a shadow person, which is like hella fucking bad. Yeah. Or if it's demonic, but in the same sense of what you said, it could be that as well. So you don't really know. It's too hard to tell, but it almost sounds like either it is residual or if it was somebody being annoyed. Gotcha. That's what it sounds like to me. Everybody's like, oh, fucking shit, fucking all the time. Because walk away, huh? <laughs> that's what. That, that's what it was is. that English? Was, yeah, it was. I didn't fucking learn your English. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> no, it was like I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> what the fuck is new? I'm just a Scorpio. I'm an asshole. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a Sagittarius. A saggy tittyus. <laughs> I, I, I saw that. I, I, I just smacked a gnat out of the air. Why is there gnats all So it's not just me. You, are you having a gnat problem too right now? Okay, see, I am too. And I thought it was just us and it was pissing me off. 
and I and, and I also have some some ants, but that's just because like it's old apartment and there's like oh, cracks. Oh, yeah, that's sh- different. I don't have ants, but I mean, yeah, I, I'm I, ants. <laughs> I'm trying I, I, to get rid of them. I, I don't have a lot of ants. It's like just like one or two, like here and there that that, that get in from the outside. But yeah, that happens. It it sometimes does. I thought it was because of my trash, but my trash is clean almost every other day, so I don't. Yeah, know. I get it. But um, that's all I got on the Winchester mystery house Ooh. um as far as i'm not going to repeat all the history you know yeah, it's okay yeah it's a lot but I'm as sure. far as the haunted history legend has it a psychic medium told her to build the house because the spirits won't want 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 wanted her to um there is a popular spirit there named clyde a mustache man that sometimes is seen pushing a wheelbarrow in the basement and trying to repair the fireplace in the in the bathroom. Uh, he's been seen so often. People thought he was an actor when mm-hmm. he is a spirit. Uh, and um, the one uh, the one encounter where the maintenance worker Denny was following some footsteps to the top of the roof and didn't find anyone. Mm-hmm. Um. And then the odd coincidence of finding that note in the walls about the stained glass windows, mm-hmm. um, the photo of the apparition in the window. I saw that on mercurynews.com, the Winchester House story. Go go look at that if you want. Um, and then uh, the worker that was on top of the ladder got touched and then got mm-hmm. pushed and then he moved off. And then the tour guide saw a shadow in the hallway after hearing a couple of sighs. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, my theory about the Winchester house is that I think she just put so much time and energy into it. And so much has happened to one location and not even all negative, but positive things. And she, w- I don't know if you read this part, but there's a specific thing that she had to think about the number 13. I did not. Uh, yes. Yeah, so like in her will, this is just one example. I'm not going to go through it all, but like, uh, cause I know we're, we're pr- running pretty heavy on time, oh, but hey, no, it's fine. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no, we're, we're at an hour and eight. Oh, okay, cool. Um, feels like a lot longer than that. I think I'm just tired. I've been up since like three, but um, <laughs> um, but she like signed her will like 13 times. Uh, her Jesus. chandeliers had like 13 um bulbs on it or something. Like I that read about 13. the chandelier. Yeah, thirteen. Okay, thirteen on it. Um, window panes were like had to be thirteen or something like that. Interesting. It uh corners or something like that had to be like thirteen. Um, she was very obsessed with like the number thirteen. That's um, that's cool. Yeah, very obsessed. Nobody knows really why. Um, the, um, there's the, a few theories, but um, maybe she had an unlucky life as far as like family goes. So like. When you when when you associate yourself with numbers on Lucky Thirteen, that's my only guess. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that. I mean, I mean, some people just feel that way, and she was very a uh, superstition person, anyways. <laughs> very Fair superstitious. Um, so with that being said, all that energy being put in, and plus, I mean, honestly, I don't feel like it's that far fetched for a spirit to be pissed off at somebody who had made a gun that killed them. Like, really, no. I don't see that being very far fetched. Um, not all of them. I'm not saying every single victim to yeah. that gun uh i'm just saying maybe specific people who were yeah, killed like, by that gun were like if this gun never existed i could have lived you know imagine then, like being haunted by a spirit that you indirectly killed yourself yeah yeah exactly and really she didn't invent it invent it. Well, she yeah. inherited it it wasn't yeah. really your fault but that's not what a spirit think or a person thinks sometimes and yeah. i could see it being a lot of residual from a killing and actual spirits being like yo mm, yeah i'm gonna just give you a bunch of shit yeah until you die and then so on and so forth so uh, 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 i can uh, uh, see it it's just so much i wonder how many re- residual gunfire shots she hears in that house or is heard in the or house has heard uh, who yeah. knows who knows like 
imagine like you like in the middle of the night you either think it's a door slamming or you just hear like a bang. yeah that, i don't know and then, and then you don't know where you're, you're it's the winchester mystery house you don't know what door it's coming from what location it's from the main entrance the three stories up in the 45th thousandth bedroom yeah i you don't, don't know I'm, like yeah who knows like i that's one haunted house I would not want to live in, not because it scares me. No, I would love to live in a haunted house. You can get lost. <laughs> exactly. And it would drive me literally mentally insane. Yeah, it would probably drive me a little crazy too. The second that I go and explore within five minutes, I would try to move on and I couldn't. I would constantly run into dead ends. Yeah, and it would, would probably get aggravating. Yeah. It'd get aggravating. Yeah. I'd do it. But... Yeah, I, I would love to spend the night there. <laughs> do it <laughs> i, I want to make myself insane <laughs> now if i could somehow like guarantee find a way like like have like a have like a a, a safe door mm -hmm. where at any point you just like hit a button and it like a door opens then cool but I, that, that's cool fun. that's a neat idea yeah but yeah uh that's my uh intake on the winchester house nice and, very yeah. good Got it. Cool. Got it. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Yeah. That's, that's all I got on it. Uh, that was really fun to re to research a little, like, like actually. L let me iterate one more thing real mm -hmm. quick. Mm -hmm. Um, six kitchens. Six. Six. Yeah. six. Why? 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 Why would <laughs> you need six ki kitchens? <laughs> Why? Two thousand doors is okay. <laughs> Ten thousand windows is okay. That's fine. Sure. Why not? One hundred and sixty rooms is okay. You, you, sure. You, sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Why um, not? Forty-seven stairways and fireplaces. Warmth is nice. And sure. And I, and I, and Actually, I, and I, she had arthritis, so um. <laughs> Do you know anything about arthritis? <laughs> is that like high blood pressure? <laughs> Arthritis is when you're. I know what arthritis are is. Shut the fuck up. So heat makes it better. I have carpal tunnel basically because I'm a keyboard gamer. Uh, anyway, six oh stations. My. How high? Did you see that? Yeah, there you go. That was That's weird. never happened before. Yeah, it has. <laughs> no, it hasn't. <laughs> Your camera goes out of focus like once a week. Your camera goes out of focus once a week. Damn, this one didn't. Do it. Do it. My camera oh. is just that good. My my camera's a four K. Well, I'm sorry. My camera isn't better. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I got this new like plug in piece of equipment that plugs my camcorder directly into my PC. So this is a four K like camcorder that I use to investigate with. Like all my investigations, I've used yeah. the camera. Yeah. For my 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 listeners or mm -hmm. our my listeners. Our listeners. Sorry. Um Damn, and thanks. um <laughs> <laughs> and uh so yeah that that's why I can zoom now. Yeah. So. I uh use a cam cam red webcam. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a damn good what web, webcam though. Didn't even have to buy it. <laughs> Didn't even spend money on it. It was just been the, sitting there. The, this webcam was seven hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> But it's yeah, not I similar. don't have that. <laughs> oh, I, uh, tax return in 2017. <laughs> Mine went into savings, so I don't know. <laughs> that probably would have been a better choice than mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that would have been the smart idea, <laughs> but I did not do that. <laughs> Anyway, Anyways. this has been the Winchester Mystery House, episode 21. My name is Trevor Haunted Faith, and you are... Lily the Fun and Lonely. I wish I had sparkles right now. That'd be fun. <laughs> Your eye twitched. Oh, I did? I didn't even do that. You went. You went. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, had, you had a shit-eating face. You said <laughs> I want to eat something right now. Not shit, uh, but, I, but I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, this is episode 21. You know who we are because we just said it. Not because we're famous, but we just said it. Um, and uh, 
<laughs> Thank you all for making it th th this far. If you did, um, uh, be sure to check out our socials. We are We the Haunted on Instagram, Twitter. Um, yes, if you have any recommendations on topics, if you have your own stories, you're out of focus again. There we go. If you have any recommendations on stories, topics, investigations, if you have your own ghostly story that you would like to, to talk about, want us to talk about, comment on the video or email us at we the haunted podcast at gmail.com. Rate. And rate and on Spotify on yep. and on iTunes. Mm -hmm. Please. And subscribe, please. notifications, subscribe to podcasts. I'm not sure if there's notifications on podcasts, but if there, there is, is, okay, smack that shit. Um, <laughs> with consent. Uh, well, no, consent. it's a, it, <laughs> Hey, you have our consent. You have our consent. <laughs> you, you have our consent, okay? <laughs> um, fake gun. It's a fake gun for for YouTube. P the purpose is fake gun. Um, anyway. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, look forward to new content re relatively in the future. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks yeah. for watching. Uh, yeah. this has been episode twenty-one. We will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.